This video picks up in the audits module, which is where we left off in the last video. First of all, only the assigned auditor, the super admin, and the auditor that created the audit can run a given audit. Click on the running man icon to start. This will open the run audit page. You can download the checklist by clicking on the print checklist button. It can be printed out or saved on your desktop in Excel where you can enter the answers. Back in ISO Tracker, you can then use the upload checklist button to populate the checklist with your answers. Alternatively, enter your answers directly into the checklist as I am doing now. For each question, select from the answer drop-down list one of the following options. One for pass, zero for fail, or NA for not applicable. If fail is selected, the runtime comment box opens. Enter a comment and then click submit. If the view icon is maroon, it means that the question has a comment attached. You can assign an auditee at the question level from this drop-down list, which is made up of users and non-users, which are listed as employees. A question with an NA answer will be removed from the pass score. You can click on the Finish Later button to save the answers and then return to the audit later to complete it. When all the questions have been answered, click on the Audit Complete button. A secondary confirmation pop-up appears. Click on the OK button. Once an audit is complete, it cannot be edited. In fact, no changes to the properties or the checklist can be made. The pass score is adjusted for any questions answered NA or not applicable. The score obtained is listed here. Once an audit is completed, the following objects appear below the checklist. Investigation, non-conformance, root cause, corrective action, preventative action, and close audit. You can use these in any order until the close audit object is used. This concludes the tutorial.